So this is an experiment to measure the horizontal component of Earth's magnetic field. You use a tangent galvanometer, a source of EMF, battery, rheostat, a meter to measure the current flowing through the coil. Then this is the commutator. Commutator reverses the direction of the current in this circular coil. When you connect one end of the commutator, the current flows through the coil in one direction and you connect the other two ends of the commutator, the current flows through the coil in a reverse direction. So commutator basically is used to reverse the direction of current and this as you are familiar it is the key. Along with that you have connecting wires. These are the essential components for tangent galvanometer experiment. Tangent galvanometer should be set properly before we start with the experiment. The aluminium pointer should point 0, 0. The coil should be vertical and the magnetic needle and the coil should be in line with each other. If all this is done, the tangent galvanometer is ready to be used. And also ensure that the ammeter is far away from the tangent galvanometer as much as possible because there is a magnetic needle, magnetic field in the ammeter also which will influence the magnetic field of the tangent galvanometer. So keep it as far away as possible. Now I am switching on the circuit. The positive end of the battery is connected to the ammeter. As you can see since I have switched on the circuit, a current of 1 ampere is passing through the ammeter. Then the negative end is connected to one end of the commutator. As you can see the commutator has four connections. One end is connected to the ammeter. Exactly the opposite end is connected to the rheostat or the variable resistance and the other end of the rheostat is connected to the key, key to the negative terminal of the battery. This forms your primary circuit. Positive end of the battery to positive end of the ammeter, negative end of the ammeter to commutator, exactly the opposite end connected to rheostat, rheostat to key, key to negative end of the battery. This forms the primary circuit. Secondary circuit, the other two ends of the commutator are connected to the first two terminals of the TG. Thus, we have included two terms. Since the current is flowing through the coil in one direction, we can see that aluminium pointer is deflected to one side. Earlier, it was pointing 0, 0. Now we see that there is deflection in the coil. This is because of the magnetic field created by the current passing through this coil. Now I am going to plug the commutator in the reverse direction. We see that the aluminium pointer has turned to the other side. So we measure the angular deflection of the aluminium pointer. This is theta 1, this is theta 2 and these are theta 3 and theta 4 respectively. You will have to wait for the aluminium pointer to come to rest before you take readings. Once it comes to rest you can now down theta 3, theta 4. So you have 4 values theta 1, theta 2, theta 3, theta 4 and note down the currents. Repeat this experiment for different values of current by adjusting the new stuff for different currents. Thank you.